Hey guys, welcome. I hope you're doing good. I'm Steph, and in this guide today, I'm going to show you my newest build for the full released version of Wilson. This is a variation of one of my better builds, the Blade Storm Warpath, that was really absolutely amazing, and this is really really insane. We are using Warpath again as really mobility. This is really one of the highest mobility skills what you can get in this game right now. The speed is just really insane. We have added Bleeding Edge for massive damage increase for this build. Then we have Warcry even to boost our damage and for health globe spawn. We also are using Wings of Ishmir for more mobility and of course we are using the Blade Storm with insane up to 50k crits already with level 55 guys. I'm going to walk you through exactly passives, skills, attributes, everything what you need and let's get started. Okay guys, first of all, we are going to move into attributes. Of course, we are really moving really completely into high DPS. That means we're putting everything into ferocity. If you want more health, just put a few points into toughness, but you can try that out for yourself. You can just reset the attribute points if you want to. Gear guys, weapon. For the weapon you need a one-hander, dagger, sword, any kind of high DPS. Try to get one with really high DPS. This is a pretty low one, but I mean we are on level 56. So there will be more coming. Try to get one with offensive one, offensive two slots. If you don't have these slots, you know that you can reroll the slots like my usual here. Client. Item reroll sockets, and then there you can reroll them on all of your items. Don't forget that. You want to have offensive one or for physical damage here, or for toxic damage, any kind of material damage, or for attack damage for the Genesis stone here. Shield what you want to have here is a support two socket for toxic damage or for physical damage helmet material damage any kind of damage toughness is good ferocity would be better try to get as much as damage as you can get in there if you have two sockets try to put in block chance dodge chance any kind what you like for the shoulders also we are going here for damage material damage plus damage ferocity any kind of damage is going to help here. For the gloves, we want to have here as well material damage, critical hit, main stat, ferocity, if you can, can get. If you can get, try to get transfer time reduction. For the chest, also here, we're going here for material damage. Also, if you can get ferocity, I have toughness here. My gear is not perfect, but I, we have plenty of time to farm better gear. Band here also completely, this is really a complete damage slot here, we want to put here as much damage as we can get, critical hit damage, we had the luck to find here a pretty good one here, critical hit chance score, even damage added to attacks, damage added to attacks, and we have here as a bonus maximum health here. For the rings, you want to have material damage, critical hit damage, everything what will boost your damage here, main stat, crit damage, material damage, support sockets, support two for damage, toxic damage or even physical damage and here um, I'm using support three sockets for transfer time between 
willpower and rage i would really highly recommend at least 50 percent i haven't got anything on my gear i didn't have the luck that's why i have three here we're going over to the amulet here as well here completely damage set physical damage rent damage attack um yeah good would be here main stats and critical hit with i didn't have the luck to find one good but we will get there for the pants also damage 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 plus damage plus material damage and main stat ferocity agility is still good as a bonus you want to have movement speed in there i really like to be fast that's why movement speed is here good same goes for the boots guys exactly the same movement speed perfect critical hit chance score we had the luck to have that in here material damage main stat ferocity if we can get to that's perfect then skills first skill is war path we're going to use increased movement speed charge the skill to channel for longer increased damage increased critical damage grant rage when hitting enemies and again increases the damage but this skill made a lot more damage in the better that's why i have modified this whole build to bleeding edge that is now our main damage skill this is really an insane damage boost it's just crazy how much damage we can do with this one increased projectile speed very important the axe continues to spin after being thrown we have here plus four seconds and two seconds that means the axes are six seconds around us that is really really massive guys the axe now follows you as you move that is a must you have to do that skill duration also plus one second and this one increases critical damage critical damage plus 30 percent war cry so that's sovereign shout how is that called in wilson grants above to all resistance per enemy hit by the shout so if you have a lot of mobs around and you sh put out the shout you have a really huge all resistance boost increases the chance of health globe spawning while this skill is active very important guys health globes keeps us alive that is a really huge huge advantage here increases duration of the buff strength by the skill you can use that restores stamina points when the skill is cast that is really really awesome gives us more mobility in terms of use for this skill here hostile inspiration increases the effectiveness of all buffs granted by the skill and other skills grants of movement speed buff plus 25 percent movement speed guys this is pretty insane next is wings of ishmir increases flight speed a lot faster increases rage generation we really need rage um, we're going to go later into that why we need really need rage increases critical chance skill loses its cooldown and costs one stamina point to use instead we saw, saw that before this is also if we're going we have one more point then that means we have here four stamina points we can use this four times creates a vortex before landing that pulls in enemies within an area of effect guys this is really fun yeah and the next and last skill is blade storm this is the really fun part here increases rage generation from enemies killed by this skill is very important we really need rage reduces rage cost of this skill is a must have here can be held to prolong the duration of the skill this is also you need to skill that increase critical damage increases critical chance when an enemy is killed with blade storm and decreases damage also guys okay guys we are here in the passive tree first of all i'm in the mid game of wilson here so i'm of course playing this character up to level 90 in this build i will always update the passive tree on our website wasted666.com the link for this build will be below this video in the description you can always go there and check out where i am right now i will keep 
the page updated. So for first when you start the first first what you need is plus 35 rage generation on kill that is very important so that you can keep that you can keep your blade storm active you really need rage rage is your friend that's why you go here over melee melee weapon damage weapon damage weapon damage here melee weapon damage go here to this point uh, plus 200 percent damage per 100 unspent rage points and then we have plus 35 rage generation on kill the next really important part is you can just you could just need a few more level ups here to go to this point here and this point is i think this point is broken i don't think that the guys wanted to have this um but for now it is working and is running really good we might have to change that out later to a two-hander with high dps if this will be fixed or if this will be changed out um, but for now it is working go this is your next goal here damage is increased by plus 50 multiplied by your weapon equims shield block chance and guys if you go to this in in, in this order uh, you will have so much dps it is insane you will see that there yeah? you will see that then it is crazy what how much dps you will you will do with that <laughs> yeah the next goal is of course just follow this path here um, this is here plus 100 person critical hit damage here the next dot here plus 60 critical hit chance score now we are moving over here we are we have to take this one here plus 150 max willpower and rage is very important plus person damage plus person damage the next goal is this one here plus 200 max willpower and rage we need rage we need really high rage that's why we're taking these two as well here with then we are going here over to child of fury your willpower generated is transferred into rage guys and this is the next goal what you want to have this will double your damage guys yeah skills have plus 100 percent rage cost when rage is over 750 yeah but skills cast at this increased cost deal double damage guys this is really 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 massive massive guys yeah yeah, then the next goal is this one here, academic field work. I'm just on the way of trying this out. It is working pretty good. Damage is insane. What you gain more. Um, I have problems with the headhunter points. I'm just working on that now. And yeah, of course, we're going to move deeper into the passive tree as soon as I level more up. Okay, guys, as always, I'm going to show you how, to, how you're going to play this. And... Thank you again for watching this video. A really big shout out to the whole Wasted 666 community. There are so many great guys out there. Lots of ideas. Lots of new builds. What we just on the path for creating. We have really lots of stuff going on. A big thank you to everyone. A big thank you to you for watching this. And now we're going to move into the gameplay. What do you want? Okay, so how this is going to work is pretty easy. First is Warcry, then we're going to use Warpath and for the damning Bleeding Edge and we're just going to rush around with Blade Storm. Also we can use Wings of Ishmael to jump around and even to pull enemies to a pen nice pack together guys yeah it's just <laughs> really so much fun just going to show you that we can even before we're going to see these elites we can even use bleeding edge before that and jump right into and guys are already down we have full oh. oh cry bam uh, potions if you are if you are low on rage just drink potions right potions potions drinking okay so talking and playing i'm not really multitasking believe it 